What's up, dirty plant hoes and all you dirty plant enthusiasts out there? It is I, Raquel, your plant madam. And today, I have an unboxing for you. But before we get into all that, today's video is sponsored by Spider Farmer. Spider Farmer LED grow lights utilize the latest and high yielding LED technology today. With Samsung diodes high energy efficiency, create better canopy light penetration. SF1000 only consumes 100 watts, running 50% less power than other 1500 QB lights. It has a customized dimming design. Upgraded FS Series growing lights have a dimming knob and a light switch. Multi light connection with unified dimming, especially beneficial for large areas of indoor growing and commercial planting. It's ideal for all growth stages. It's an excellent full spectrum. 3000K diodes providing more reddish light and 5000K providing more bluish. The 660 nanometer red and infrared light is especially useful during bloom, where it speeds up flowering time and boosts your yields. Turn your seeds into your own supply. And the light looks fairly natural, so it's good for accurately monitoring your plant's health. It's well made and has solid construction. It has no fan and is noise free. There's a lot of value for the money because Spider Farmer LED plant lights are often copied but will never have quality or commitment. They provide five years of after service for local maintenance centers. Spider Farmer grow lights can give you high quality at a price that's super affordable. I know I've been using Spider Farmer's grow lights and their tents for quite some time and I would give it the personal plant madam guarantee. This tent is the bomb. It keeps the humidity up all by itself. The light has just been killing it in the variegation department. And I love my Spider Farmer setup. Thank you so much to Spider Farmer for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of goodies today. I've got stuff. I mean, I've just got a lot of stuff. So first, plant meow. And let me tell you guys something. Her shipping, which... Look at here. You see this? Look at that. She's got she's got special tape, special tissue, which you're gonna see it all once I pop this bad boy open. But she was doing like sorry for talking when I'm doing that. She was doing a tour, like a little miniature tour on Instagram of her like shipping setup that she's got for her plant business. And the envy that washed over me was palpable because it's all like colorful all coordinated and it's all her brand and stuff like that like you talk about major inspiration for stuff that i want to do too and i i like how she's using these uh packing peanuts too these disposable packing peanuts because it really does make it easier when you're packing to like fill up the void fill up the empty space in the box i don't know where i'm gonna pour these though hmm yeah the packing peanuts into my box wow look at this freaking tissue paper you guys she is so good this is so aesthetically pleasing mines don't look like this <laughs> they're going to in the future though i'm going i uh, someday someday i'm gonna get my shit together <laughs> you watch i'm gonna do it I love everything about it. I love the fact that, I'm sorry, bub, it's just cardboard. I've never once beat you with a cardboard box. Wow, look at that, you guys. Have I ever received a nicer packaged plant? The only plant that I can think of that was packaged better than this that I can remember in my memory, doesn't mean it didn't happen, is, um, I can't remember. I know that I'm gonna put it, I'll put it on the screen because I can't freaking remember right this second. Like this, I'm gonna steal all of your ideas. <laughs> God, this is so fucking cute. Thank you for supporting my small business sticker. So she was showing on her Instagram stories how her Ethereum got so freaking gigantic and massive, basically. She's so good at growing anthuriums that it like broke its own neck. And so she was selling some rooted chunks. And so I bid on one of those rooted chunks in her Instagram stories, which you guys should do. You should go follow the plants meow. She does this on occasion. You know, she'll do some uh, plant sales through there. And she has a website. So you need to go check it out. But anyways, 
I was like, I'll take a rooted chunk. <laughs> so I went over there and bought it. Here we go. Looks beautiful. I love the, um, the insulated uh, corrugated roll. I'm not even sure how you would say that, but love that. <gasps> you guys. I hope that you're enjoying the sound today because I finally got my road mic working again. I kept trying to buy different dongles for this stupid freaking iPhone and I kept ordering the wrong one. So finally Casey took over my task and he got me the right one and now I'm back in business with the good audio. So no more bullshit humming in the background. Well, if there is any bullshit humming in the background, you can just deal with that because this is as good as it's gonna get, sister. Oh boy, this is not the one that I thought it was. This is an extra that my girl sent my way. This is an Anthurium Luxurians Rooted Stomp Chonk, whatever you want to call it. And at first I thought this was the one, the A. Uh, the Warrock Waterberry a that um that I bid on because I thought that this was like, oh my gosh, you guys. I don't have to tell you how nice of a gift this is. If you guys know what an Anthurium Luxurians is, I'll show you what a, a mature form of Anthurium Luxurians looks like. And they're absolutely gorgeous. And this is the little baby that I was after. This is the Warrock Weanum crossed with Waterberryanum and Therium. And wow, I'll show you guys um, a picture here of the um, like thing that like broke its own neck of hers on Instagram. And man, I can't wait to grow this baby. Now that I got my tent, the sky's the limit. You know what I'm saying? It's very exciting. Look at the little corn bulbs on this thing. Look at the little baby. So I'm gonna set these uh, in the kitchen off to the side and then we will open up the rest of our goodies because I got more goodies. I got stuff from Andrew too. The next one is from Captain Andrew Wolf. He's captain of the Ho Squad. Um, he has been involved with my Dirty Plant Ho group from the very beginning. I'm pretty sure he's been uh, the highest level tier membership since the very beginning. He's been nothing but kind and sweet and super generous. And if he knows that there's another hoe in need, Andrew is going to have your back. I freaking love Andrew. He's the shit. He makes me laugh. I wore my um, all Zachary Quinto faces shirt to the Mexican restaurant yesterday. So I think about you often. <laughs> the nipple tassels, the... Stormship Trooper nipple tassels. How the fuck? Oh, I'm an idiot. That I still haven't worn for Cletus yet. I don't know. I just can't bring myself to do it. Oh, this looks like a piece of clothing. Oh, Andrew. Oh, I love the beauty of the cards, you guys. I have a big Rubbermaid tote full of all the cards that I've gotten since I've had a YouTube channel. And I've had so many ideas of like what to do with them and it doesn't ever seem good enough. You know what I mean? Like I wanted to create like a collage wall where just like maybe here in my plant room, but I want to paint first. You know what I'm saying? Because this mustard yellow color, people have asked me before, did I do this back here? No, I did not do this back here. This is what it was like when we moved in and I'm not much of a fixer upper type of gal. So. The cards are all going to be on full display at some point. I'm working on it. Like everything else, I'm working on it. Dear Rachel, sorry Casey, no plastics. In honor of our love of our queen Anthurium and the fact that we scored one all at the same time, a few hoes have named ourselves the Warrock Crew. Our very own April Robinson designed the logo and since we owe our success in acquiring our queens to you, introducing us to Equigenera. We thought you should have a piece of our official merch too. I hope you like it because handwriting cards is BS. <laughs> Love, Andrew. Oh. 
Well, my dirty plant hose have a war off crew and they have made themselves some merch and I'm taking it that they're allowing me to become an honorary member of the Warrock crew. <gasps> you guys! Oh my god, that is so cute! That is so cool, you guys. I love it. <gasps> Holy shit, it's on the back and it's big. <gasps> this is so cool. April Robinson, you're the shit. Thank you. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. <laughs> Common household name here. Here at the Casa Carter de Cletus. Why is it so hot? All right. Time out. It's hot as shit. It's hot as balls. Okay. So here are a couple of plants that I got from Equigenera, Ecuador. Okay. Not the Florida location. The Ecuador location. And I'm glad these came in the middle of July so that you guys can see what plants look like when you import them in July. Um, yellowing leaves is normal. It's not something you should email the company about. Um, I'll show you. When these come out of the bags, we'll see what they look like. And I'll show you some things to look for uh, and what you should and shouldn't potentially be upset about when you're importing from Ecuador okay because it's not gonna look like it if you just went and picked it up from the store or something and most of these items that come from Ecuador I plan on rehabbing them that's why the prices are so good um, you know what I mean like you're getting what you pay for in certain ways and they have a great selection um, they have some stuff that you can't find sometimes in the States, especially lately. They're really pumping out some exotic shit. So um, this is what it looks like. This is a regular varicosum from uh, Equigenera. And you see some of the, le the yellowing leaves on the bottom. That's totally fine. Can you believe that there's even green leaves at all? You know, since it's traveled for as long as it has. I think that's amazing. And uh, I'm not lifting it straight up because I don't want to put a lot of pressure on it. But the stem is firm, okay? Uh, very firm. You don't want a mushy stem, okay? So now we're going to take it straight out of this bag. Because when you get an import like this, you want to get it out of this bag immediately. And you want to take whatever's left over of the root structure from travel and stick it straight into a cup of distilled water. And the reason why I picked distilled and not fish tank water for, do, for doing stuff like this, this is because bacteria and stuff like increases the chances of rot. So I just use the distilled for this, right? Uh, let's go see what else is in the box. So I'm pretty sure this one was like a varicosum number five. And I was really excited about that because I'm pretty sure their varicosum number five is just an El Chaco red, you know, different naming for it. Um, I've been on the lookout for this one on their website forever, and I was really excited when it finally came back in stock. And they sent me a pretty big specimen, so that was really nice. And um, so far, just FYI, I think the varicosum looked great. So some green at the top mostly yellowing at the bottom look at that bad boy look at how big that is i was so impressed by the level of pigment on the back of these leaves the el chaco red that i have doesn't have that much pigment uh so you can see the severe autumn like yellowing of these leaves totes normal no big deal check for the new growth that looks good. No yellowing there. Check to make sure that the stem is nice and tough. That's me flicking it with my nail. You see how tough that is? It's hard. That's not a damaged or injured plant. You know what I mean? It just hasn't had any water or light in a long time, right? So same thing with the other. I'm going to immediately take this bag off look at the root situation type deal type situation 
and then I put whatever it is into the same cup of water, you know, with the varicosum. And then both of those plants are going to go in a tote, okay, because it's the highest humidity that I can offer for those plants to rehab in. And then that tote is going to go uh, somewhere near natural light would be the best, but under LED lights because, you know, I don't have a lot of choices around here. It's a dark, it's dork in this house. It's dork sided. Yeah. But anyways, two in the cup, one in the stink. It's going in the Tupperware. I want to get into this mystery package from Lola Isabel at Rose Pink Moon. And I was like, oh. And I went and looked at her Instagram, and her Instagram looks absolutely amazing. It's so dark. It's so romantic. It's so one side of my personality, for sure. So I have no idea what's in here at all. Whoa, this looks really nice. This says Madam Rachel. <gasps> Sorry, Winston. My bad. Look at that freaking shirt. That is amazing. Hang on, hang on. It's a Florida ghost sticker. That is super freaking cute. Um, <gasps> it's mushrooms. Dear Rachel, I wanted to send you multiple items from my boutique because one, I'm extra. And two, I wanted to show you my deep appreciation for you and your channel. I'm a longtime YouTube subscriber who is too shy to reach out to you in any other way, but I thought maybe a box of gifts could say more than I ever could through a comment. I know we were all going through it, but watching all of your channels made me feel less alone while things got bleak. It's okay. I cry. Don't worry about it. I cry like six times a day. Anyways, it's no big deal. It's like we're, this is what we do. It was also nice to feel so many commonalities with someone else who collects plants, especially terrarium begonias. The t-shirt, button, and the pens with pink backing cards are my own designs. Everything else is from awesome makers that you could read about on my website, rosepinkmoon.com. So much love, Lola. Thank you, Lola. I really appreciate those very, very sweet, kind words. Oh, Gatanica and rose pink moon what do you mean Bob? oh she said the t-shirt is her design baseball tee design i know you like your shirts to fit baggy thank you ma'am let me know if this works if not you can exchange it for a different size this design isn't released yet so you're the first to get it bitch yes oh it's so beautiful. <gasps> this is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. This design, it's absolutely stunning. I saw something like this, um, Skeleton Embrace. You guys have probably seen it on Instagram or something like that, but that's what it makes me think of. It makes me think of my boo. It makes me think of Cletus. That is so beautiful. Oh my God. Look at this shit right here. <gasps> Luna Moth. Oh my God, these are so freaking beautiful. Wow, these are gorgeous. <gasps> oh my God, so pretty. You guys. Oh, wow. Somebody made this? <gasps> Mushroom. Oh my God, this box is full of really, really, really cool stuff, you guys. Open Sea Design Company, the Botanical Collection, the Garden Journal. You guys are gonna shit when you look at this. This is so freaking pretty. Wow. Can you guys see the detail here? Holy moly. This is so cool. I freaking love it. You guys, this is so far up my alley, I can taste it in the back of my throat. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Vintage mushroom chart reproduction. Look, items for Cletus. 
Okay, pick something and start, lady. Ash and ember eye soot. I don't know if you noticed, but I did my makeup for you today. Especially just for you, because you know I'm not doing this shit when I'm just chilling in my house, so. Check that out. Colors. I'm gonna have um, some timestamps down below um, so that you guys can jump through this video and you can, you know, look, watch whatever you wanna watch. It won't hurt my feelings at all, you know what I mean? I get it. Some people just aren't interested in some things. Oh, whoa. What's this called? Pixis? Yeah, I get it. I get why it's called that. So beautiful eye soot now okay i'm gonna have to open this one now you've piqued the interest what i know it's for your eyes but hear me out get out of here who is she it's definitely on the website go check it out <gasps> what is this really 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 nice looking artwork it's a lot of thoughts all at once bg brooklyn grooming and aftershave this is for cletus brooklyn grooming beard brush <gasps> he is always stealing my brush and using it for his beard so this is really freaking cool and he's gonna love that design grooming commando grooming balm really really cool because casey uh, has tried a ton of beard products and he has not liked a whole lot of them. So I'm feeling really hopeful for this. <gasps> wow. How beautiful. Which is absolutely gorgeous and right up my alley. If you haven't noticed, this is a, just like a crescent moon hairpin. These absolutely gorgeous gold monstera leaf earrings gorgeous seahorse skeleton i love these these are so pretty you have an anatomically correct heart pin absolutely gorgeous oh it's soap and it's got like a little picture of a mermaid in it with a sailor oh man i love that i have been using exclusively like all natural soaps since um sl handmade soaps has been sending me soaps to show you guys every month and uh, my skin feels better like um, regular soaps were like really 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 dry me out oh wow oh wow you guys these are silk handkerchiefs. Wow. So beautiful. It's so silky. I can't quit touching it. It's got the phases of the moon. Gorgeous. And this one has a whole bunch of hibiscus flowers on 100% habitat silk. I could, I could tell when I touched it. I'll be selling Leadhead Glass Terrarium soon and will absolutely hook you up. Girl, you have hooked me up plenty. This is the one of the sweetest boxes I've ever gotten, y'all. I freaking love everything that's inside of it. Thank you so much, Lola. I had to rip the shit out of this one. <gasps> this next box is from SL Handmade Soaps. And look at that sticker. Oh, yo. -ho. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Whoa, this one smells good. What is this one? Shit. I'm pretty sure she probably told me on Instagram what flavor this is, and I haven't been on Instagram in days. Like, my mental health is on a whole new high, a whole new level. Damn, that smells good. Now, I thought it might have been one that I already had before because you can see, like, that little piece of mandarin there, and the one in my shower that's almost gone had, like, a piece of mandarin, so I thought maybe this was a smell repeat, but let me tell you something. It's not a smell repeat. That smells sweet. I can't give any medical advice or anything like that because I am just a wee dumb ass YouTuber. But I will tell you that I have eczema and psoriasis 
And since I've been using the handmade soaps versus like Irish Spring body wash, Irish Spring bars, or even Dove bars, I have noticed the difference in how my skin feels after I get out of the shower and also how it looks. So I'm kind of a believer now and maybe I'm old enough in my life now where I can actually commit to using something that's not, you know, like straight out of a bottle in the shower. So thank you very much to SL Handmade Soaps for this month's installment of Smell Good. The last box, I know what's in the last box. It is a shit ton of moss poles because I'm done screwing around and I'm done using the bamboo and I'm done making my own because my own they're they're okay I just cut my tip of my nail with this razor blade it was done playing games so I'll have these linked down in the description box these are the ones that um, connect to each other one fits into another, fits into another, fits into another. It's infinite amount of stacking that you can do. And uh, I really liked them. Uh, they're actually cheaper than the, like, the price that I gave you guys on the membership video. They're actually um, a little bit more affordable than what I was wanting to admit. When you think about the cost of buying the supplies yourself and how, costs, and how costly is your time because your time is worth money and how long are you spending fashioning moss poles? You know what I mean? So... I don't know how many is in here. One, two, there's two per pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen moss poles. So when I do my plant shorts this weekend, I'm gonna have a lot of moss poles. And no more excuses. Get off me, you piece of shit. So that's it. Thank you so much to Spider Farmer for sponsoring today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my super chill little you know just unboxing thank you so much to the plants meow for sending me a amazing extra in my box i don't even know if i have anything that i can send back to you that you wouldn't have like the plants meow on instagram she's one of those girls that she's got everything you know what i'm saying thank you so much again to rose pink moon for that amazing box of goodies and that heartfelt card i'm going to cherish it forever if you like this video be sure and give it a thumbs up down below and what was your favorite planty related gift item that i got in these boxes today because i got a lot of really really neat looking stuff that i'm sure you guys will really love too so tell me down below what was your favorite thing that i pulled out of those boxes and if somehow your crazy ass has made it through this much of the video today, please leave me a unicorn down in the comment section. Before you go, I have two other channels I don't upload quite as frequently on, but they are there. And I have this new nail look coming up soon, but I have to dig through like five hours of footage before um, I can put it out. So if you guys are interested in anything like that, Go over there and check out my other channels and subscribe. We love you guys. Peace out. Later taters. Bye. And now I would like to start off by saying a big thank you to all my dirty plant enthusiasts out there. Nadinsky, Seven Puggy, Cindy C, Abby Gilbert, Ace Cadet, Alexandra Chilton, Paul Fallon's Franz, Always Propagating, Amanda Davila, Amy Adwan, Ashley Caraveo, Ashley Sexton, A Warm Wind, Bailey Barnett, Barbara Lindbergh, Bougie Panda, Bryn, Carly Grinnell, Casey Dillon, Casey Glidewell, Chamomile Camille, Colleen Hatton, Corey Traxler, Crazy Plant Lady, Cuties with Party, Daniel Holt, Darren Hebel, David Sawyer, Diandra Belarus, Ellen Louise. Pasco, Emily Kingsley, Ellen Roche, Felicia Yeager, Fenner Lamb, Fiona, Fredo79, Goncalo Martins, Gretchen Ward, Haley Hedrick, Haley Martin, Haley Kester, Hannah Gould, Harper Gray, Heather Summers, Heidi Christofferson, Hells Bells, Holy Coley, House Planty Goodness, Hunter Jolly, Jamie Ellis, Jake Rowe, J.S., Jenna Maria, Jennifer Girolametto, Jess Marvel, Jessica Viola, Joseph L. Simmons V, Cassandra Hines, Kathy W., Katrin, Kaylee Logan, Kelly Hodgson, Kim Toby, Kimberly Mossman, Not Dude, Christy Bem, Crystal T, Kaya Hauser, Kaylin Cooper, Lauren Loves Leaves, Leah Tarbuck, Life's a Garden, Lilac Moore, Lillian Morin, Lisa Nolan, Lola Isabel, Louise H, Lulu's Leaves, Maggie Davis, Mackenzie Hogarth, Mara Baker, Maureen W, Megan Moyna, Meeks, Megan Lilly, Mev H, Michaela Rags, Michelle A, Michelle Meckle, Michelle Watts, Monica Allison, Nicole Rohrer, Nikki Toller, Ordinary. 
Mary Plant Girl, Pam's Pretty Plants, Peanuts Plants, Rachel Morale, Rachel Sharp, Rhea Shields, Ricky Mulbeck, Reese's Roots, Sophia Bahadir, Sarah Santos, Sarah, Seth Miller, Showers ASMR, Sophie, Sophie Botting, Steph Miller, Stephanie Bazella, Stephanie Menzies, Tanya Houtsaker, Tara Christensen, Taylor Kaysen, T, Tiffany Wright, Trent Grolmus, Tyler Kersey, Verdigree Dreams, Bernie Zhu, Toria Fonseca, Wesley Lemontino, and Yadira Z. And now a big, huge, nasty, dirty shout out to all my big, huge monthly supporters. My dirty plant hoes who get to enjoy our monthly live chats and also our dirty plant ho purge group on Facebook. Danny Ryan, Abby Rupp, Alexandra Kennedy, Allie Wells, Allison Havens, Alyssa Braden, Amy Baxter, Andrew Wolf, Anna D, April Showers, Buy Me Flowers, Ariel Roots, Arlisa B, Ashley Kathleen, Aubrey Puff, Botanicast, C. Woe, Caitlin Christie, Cassidy Walker, Chelsea Clifton, Chrissy Spencer, Christina Kuntz, Christy Stewart, Sierra Jones, Danny Sprague, Deanne Usantos, Denise Tomer, Diana Warner, Donna, Dorkalicious, Ellen Hoover, Emily Cephalu, Emily Forhe, Emma LaCroix, Emma Wiley, Florence Ramirez, Gab, Gina the Great, Haley Eblen, Haley Stanley, Hazel Foreman, Heather Lamb, Heather Worrell, Hollis Good, Houseplant Heather, Dumb Meow, Jasmine Renee, Jedi KCC, Jennifer Rouse, Jenny Vanderbilt, Jessica Stanford, Jill Cunningham, Joanna Meyer, Joanne Hernandez, Caitlin Guavi, Chris uh, Catherine Sproles, Kayla Taylor, Kelly Smith, Kelly Costello, Kristen Williams, Christy D, Crystalia B, Lana MT, Mary Boots, Mark Straw, Megan Earls, Megan Gowdy, Melissa Hartog, Melissa Mintz, Michelle G, Mirena, Miss Lisa, Natural State Ashley, Nicholas Caruso, Nikki Grilly, Odd Avocado Tree, Olivia Wise, Oops I Soiled My Planties, Peyton Gold, Pinky from Hot Farms, Plant Friend Down the Street, Simonetta, QR, Rian Chekasang, Rico 9383, Riley Elizabeth, Wren, Root and Leaf, Sammy Joe Ruby, Sarah Schwartz, Sarah J, Shannon Mattingly, Sleazy Wednesday 1, Spotted Oreo 10, Stacey Anderson, Tammy Carroll, Tara Peterson, Terrace Plants, Tropics in the Midwest, Teddy Ruxpin, my favorite bear in the whole wide world, Tara Wolfgang, Tess Botsis, that girl and her dog, the Fiber Circus, the Hatter's Madness, the Plants Channel, Plants Meow, Tracy Buzzle, Tyler Frakes, Valerie, Victoria Olson, Whitney Sales, Wicked Witch, Roxy, Will H, Winter Rose, and Yvonne Smith. You are so beautiful. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I hope that your week has been wonderful. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll catch you next week. Bye.